welcome back to my channel! Today I have five tips on Friday. For you all, it's like, OM cheers! I can't believe this is actually my 89th five tips on Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this helpful video and let's just get right to it. Okay, so the first tip is do you have makeup stains in your clothes? And trust me, I have this happen all the time. I get like foundation on like my leg, like when I'm pumping it out onto my hand, it like pumps on like a little bit, like thrusts off onto my jeans. And then it's just like there because like the foundation is like prolonged wear and it does not come out. I'm like, <gasps> what do I do? If the fabric is machine washable, go ahead and a little bit of hairspray and spray on the stain. So you're gonna go ahead and spray the hairspray right onto the stain and leave it on there for about 10 minutes. So if I had a stain right here, I would go ahead and spray the hairspray right here and leave it on there for 10 minutes. Then after you have this on your garment for about 10 minutes, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and take a damp cloth or a sponge and dab it out. The hairspray lifts up and breaks down the makeup, leaving you with no more stain. So after you did those few steps, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and pop that garment right into the washer and wash it as normal. Right after you take that garment out of the washer machine, you will see it looks brand new. Get makeup stains out fast with hairspray. Okay, so the next tip is, do you want your nail polish to last longer? You're like, I just painted my nails and then they chipped. Well, if you want your nail polish to last longer, try this trick. All you do is need to go ahead and grab some vinegar with a cotton ball and soak a cotton ball in the vinegar and apply it to your nails right before you paint them. This will gently dissolve the oils on the surface, ensuring that the color goes on flawlessly. It might be that one extra step that you have to do before you paint your nails, but trust me, it's worth it. No more chip nails for you. <laughs> okay, so the next tip is, now that it's fall, it's the perfect time to pull out your patent leather items. Whether it's a handbag or shoes, you're gonna wanna make these look shinier. If you wanna make your patent leather look a little bit shinier, go ahead and take a cloth and get it wet just a little bit so that it's damp. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and go onto your patent leather and just go into circular motions. This would take off any of the dirt. Then once you've completed this step, if you want them to look even um, more shiny, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and take a little bit of canola oil and you're just going to go ahead and put this onto the cloth also. Um, you can put it on to the part of where it's not wet and you're just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of this right onto the cloth. Could you imagine that just like all poured out? That would be like horrible. So then once you have the canola oil onto your cloth, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go on to circular motions all over the shoe, and this will make it look extra shiny so then your shoes will look brand new. So whether it's shoes or a handbag, your patent leather will be looking brand new in no time. Okay, so the next tip is, you guys might think it's a little bit funny, but trust me, everyone probably has this problem. You wear your jeans and these are like your favorite jeans and you always wear them. But for some reason, the zipper just never stays up. And your friends are just like, X, Y, Z, girl. X, Y, Z. And then they're like, oh, your, your, your fly is down. You, mm. They're like, oh. Well, if your zipper is not staying up, what you need is a key ring. So you just want a key ring just like this. And what you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and put it right onto the zipper. Um, so like on the zipper it has a little hole. So you're just gonna go ahead and put the key ring right on there. So if your zipper just like falls down, like when you're wearing it, like over time just falls down and just keeps on falling down. Well, what you're gonna do is once you have the key ring on, zipper your pants. And then what you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and put the key ring right over the button and then button your pants like you normally would. And then booyah, you won't have to worry about your zipper falling down. You won't have anybody saying, X, Y, Z, girl. It, 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 unless you just forget to zipper your pants. But we all have that problem. But if your zipper falls down, then you can just go ahead and use this trick. And then you won't have to worry about your zipper falling down on your favorite pants. Okay, so the last tip I absolutely love. And it's actually a really cute gift tip that you can go ahead and give your sister or friend. And this is what it looks like. It is so adorable and I think it's so cute. 
actually a survival kit. So if your sister needs a survival kit at the moment, she's just going through like a tough time and she needs like a survival kit, or your friend needs a survival kit, then you can go ahead and give this to them. You can either use it in a basket or a gift bag. Like you can go ahead and put it on their car or you could put it on their locker or you can go ahead and put it on their seat or something like that. And, or on their door or something really cute. And I love giving gifts to my friends or my sister just because I feel like it's not that the gift costs a ton, but it's still the thought that counts. And this is a really adorable gift tip. And I love gifts that don't cost a ton, but have the thought put into the gift. And this is what it looks like. It is so adorable. So all I do is need a few things for this gift tip. So what you need is a basket like this, or you can go ahead and use a gift bag, whichever one you have on hand. Some tissue paper, some cardstock, and then a few items. So you need a Snickers, some extra gum, Starburst, whoop, backside, Starburst, a peppermint patty, a now filer, Rolos, did I say extra gum? Extra gum, and a eraser. That is all that you need for this adorable gift tip, and then you have a really gift, cute gift tip that you can go ahead and give your sister or your friend. So as you know, I love making sayings with the gifts, and this is a really adorable thing that you can go ahead and create a saying to go with all these items. And this is what it looks like. I just went ahead and took a piece of cardstock and folded it, and then wrote it on the cardstock, and I put a survival kit right on the front. And when you open it up, it has a really cute saying to go with all the items. And I will post this down below, um, so you can just go ahead and either copy and paste it and print it out, or you can go ahead and write it out and not have to keep on pausing and playing this video. So it says, survival kit for sister or friend. And the first one says, gum. So you can do any type of gum, but gum, because families always stick together. And if you were to give this to your friend, they can go ahead and do because friends always stick together. Stickers to remind you of all the happy times we share. Rollos, Rollos, for all the times we let the good times roll. A razor, because everyone makes mistakes and needs a second chance. Peppermint Patty, for when I'm not there to pat you on the back. Sandpaper Nail Filer, um, I thought Nail Filer was way cuter because um, it's a Nail Filer and like, sandpaper you're not really going to use, whereas a Nail Filer is that you're going to use and it's more versatile. Sandpaper Nail Filer, for all the times you smooth things over for me. Starburst. For the times you feel like you will burst if you don't share your secret with me. I absolutely love this gift tip and I'm so excited to give this to my sister. I think she's going to absolutely love it. And I just think this is so cute. And then if any of my friends are need a survival kit, then I can go ahead and create another kit of another set like this. I think this is absolutely adorable to go ahead and give your friend or your sister just because Sometimes you need somebody, you need a survival kit. Sometimes, even if you're not going through a tough time, sometimes, sometimes you just feel like you need that boost. So I think this is really cute. I absolutely love this gift tip and I hope that you guys did too. I cannot wait to give it to my sister. But yeah, that is it. That was all that concludes my 89th Five Tips on Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this helpful video and stay tuned for next. Hope that everyone has a great day and I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. Talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support.